on what's next for James Comey. Harmi, we've been discussing this here uh, tonight, the arguments one way or another, but in the real world, what do you think needs to happen? Well, what needs to happen and what will happen in the real world are probably two different things. But James Comey knows himself very well that some of the things he's been accused of tonight and in the press are things that he's prosecuted other people for. So, for example, Sandy Berger is a, is a figure out of the Clinton's past mm -hmm. who actually stuffed documents down his pants in the uh, National Security Archives and then got away with them. And then he was ultimately given a slap on the wrist when James Comey held the position in the Department of Justice that Rod Rosenstein does today. That's in 2004. So he knows people can be prosecuted. He's prosecuted them for doing similar things. But in the real world right now where we have a attorney general who's recused, we have a deputy attorney general under fire from the president and under pressure from many people to resign or step aside, mm -hmm. who would prosecute him? I think the proper place to be prosecuted would be by line attorneys in the Department of Justice and definitely not a special prosecutor. I think what we've seen here historically mm -hmm. is that special prosecutors are loose cannons that go in search of crimes and are often overturned on appeal. So I don't think that's a good use of resources. So let's just explore that. In, in, I want the audience to be absolutely clear what you're saying, that if the view is that he has potentially committed crimes, and we've certainly heard that view put here tonight forcefully, if that's the case, then he should be prosecuted. Who exactly should take the lead in making that happen? Well, it would be somebody in the Department of Justice. Now, a cautionary note here is that what we're seeing is almost an arms race and escalation of the political crime prosecution and process crimes. I don't think that's necessarily a good thing for the country because there can be a line between what you think is the right thing. I think Comey's clearly on the wrong side of it, but the problem is that if you prosecute him, the ante is upped for the t tables to be turned in the next administration. I'm not sure okay. that's a great use of our resources. What's your view? Well, my view is we're not done collecting the information. And as he goes on this book tour attempting to monetize and cash in on his allegations, there's more things he's going to say uh, that may backfire on him. And what we know is often the fastest, best way to a prosecution is false statement. Mm -hmm. And one of the surest ways to prove that is when the subject contradicts himself or is contradicted by others. So, for example, Comey comes out and says, yeah, politics was a factor in my decision mm -hmm. this October. How does that hold up with other statements we make? And he's not just being contradicted as he gets out there capitalizing on his book tour uh, by, by the President of the United States. Loretta Lynch has now come out and directly contradicted one of his accounts. So this saga is to be continued, not just in terms of where the prosecution efforts might go, but the information being generated about Comey and the potential for false statements. And Andy McCabe has also accused him of lying. And so we've seen in the uh, Inspector mm -hmm. General's report that just came out that McCabe's attorneys have said that Comey should not be believed. Comey did authorize him right. talking to the Wall Street Journal. And there's that. And then you also have Senator Grassley, who has written to uh, Rod Rosenstein, saying, let's talk more about these seven classified documents. And we want some more details. Did he give them? Right. I, I, I don't think it is clear at all that he simply gave an excerpt to his friend. His friend retroactively claimed attorney-client privilege. There's a lot of hinky stuff going on so there. I we aren't even that, close to being close uh, to the fact-finding there. Appreciate your perspectives. Lots more to dig into. Thank you very much.